Hey, welcome everybody. It's it's been it's been a day. It's been a day. I'm having all kinds of electronic difficulties over here. I don't know what's going on. I tried to go live on YouTube and all I got was this this echo, bad echo. And I was like, oh, let me just go back to Facebook. Since I can't get it right on YouTube, the radio, and here I am. So today's topic is all about headaches and types of headaches. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because a friend of mine is suffering with, matter of fact, there's a couple of people I know that suffers with headaches. And some know what type of headache it is because they've been diagnosed with it. And then you have some ladies who don't know what type of headaches they have or what caused the headaches that they have. So I said, you know what, let me, let me help the ladies, the ladies out, the gents. So y'all have an understanding about headaches. Wait a minute, I'm trying to get something done here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Let me do this. I don't know. We'll work something out here. Um, how do Facebook get to pick and choose who I connect with? That's just too much power. Thanks for the thumbs up. I can't see who's here, but that's just too much power. Mr. Mark Zuckerberg, you have too much power. He get to pick and choose who can see my broadcast and who I can share it to. I know it's his platform and all, but that's just too much power. I'm like limited. Why I gotta be limited? I don't like that y'all. Why do I have to be limited of who can see what? That's not cool. It's really not cool. Why do I have to be like that? Y'all know why I have to be like that? Because he want us to pay. That's why he limited because he want us to pay. You want your stuff seen? You got to pay me. You want your broadcast seen? You got to pay me. You want your post seen? You got to pay me. If you ain't paying me, I'm a limit. Who sees your stuff? Ah, it's about money. So I am about to get started. So let's talk about headaches. And I'm going to get into types of headaches. There's a list in the description. So headaches is pain in the head, scalp, and neck. You can have migraine headaches, tension headaches, sinus headaches, cluster headaches, hormone, um, headaches from hormones, and also TMJ, temporal mandibular joint dysfunction, jaw headache. So sinus headaches is going to run right along here. Matter of fact, let me share my screen with y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about instead of me trying to demonstrate it on me. Let me bring it up. Hold on. Hmm. It's not let me bring it up. Why? Types of headaches. Okay, there we go. And now I want to share my screen because I want y'all to see this. All right, here we go. Let me block out my little happy face somewhere. 
All right, so now these are the types of headaches. You have migraine headaches. Who's here? Oh, hey, it won't work. Mark, um, I'm gonna call you and I'm explaining to you the um, error message that I that I received and it wasn't connected for me. So I tried doing YouTube and now I had to go back to Facebook, but I'll talk to you right after the show. So headaches, types of headaches. You have migraine headaches that's gonna affect one side of the, one side of the face. You have tension headaches, and you also have clusters, which will be around one side in this area, and then you have sinus headaches. Now, what's not on this picture is TMJ headaches. So TMJ headaches is going to be right around here, and these are people who suffer with temporal mandibular joint dysfunction, which means sometimes, like if you, let me stop share for a minute. Hold on. Come on. There we go. So if you put your two fingers here and you do this, you could feel the bones move up and down, up and down. Okay. Right in there is your TMJ. So people who suffer with TMJ dysfunction, Sometimes when they're eating, their jaw will either get locked open while they are chewing and they have to knock it back in. That's the wrong word to use, but they do this to push it back in. And, that, and it's very painful for them. And after that, they don't want to eat no more, but that causes headaches. So let me go back to the chart. All right, now block me out again. So these are the four headaches, but what's, what's not on here is the TMJ headache. You can also get headaches from hormones. Now, the thing about headaches is this. They start happening at the onset of um, during the second decade of our life. And you may say, well, Carol, what the hell is the second decade of our life? So let's think about that. The every 10 years is a decade. So let's say when you reach from the time you were born and we're blessed to reach 50 and beyond, 50 is like the midpoint of the second decade of life. Not decade of year, but decade of life, there, there's a difference. And I need y'all to understand that. The other thing that I'm gonna put out there is this. This is for informational and educational purposes only. Yes, I am a healthcare provider. And this information on this topic is for informational and educational purposes only. However, it's all good. So, um, you, when headaches happen, that's because you have muscle tension that's going to either increase, shoot up, it's, or it's either going to go down. And that's going to be because of the neurochemicals in our body, in our brain. And it's either going to be serotonin or dopamine. Those are the main causes of headaches. Muscle tension an increase or decrease in the levels of the neurochemicals of serotonin and dopamine that is the main causes of headaches. So I hope y'all understand why I put out that disclaimer because I'm talking in medical terms, but I'm gonna keep it as lay person as I can. So let's go into the factors that causes headaches. And all of us go through these today. So I wrote, I want y'all to get a pen and paper because I want you to be aware of the factors that cause this headaches. Now that you know about the neurochemicals, let's talk about some of the things that we deal with in our everyday life that can cause headaches. Let's start off with stress. Stress, depression. 
anxiety. So when I'm going through this list, I want you to think about yourself. What are you dealing with every day that is causing you to be stressed out? And are you taking it on to a point that it's affecting you physiologically? And is it worth it? Who do you know that suffers or that have been diagnosed with some of these conditions that causes headaches? So stress, anxiety, depression, and I already talked about this, contraction of the jaw, which is also TMJ, neck and shoulder muscles. Most people carry their tension in their neck and shoulder muscles. What kind of work do you do? Are you the type of person like me that carry one of these? And if you are carrying one of these and you're putting it on your shoulder, are you using one strap or are you using both straps? And then what's the weight of it? How light or how heavy is it? If it's heavy and you having one strap on one shoulder, then you're going to end up like this. Maybe not that bad, but over time, you will. Are you using both straps? And if so, how much weight, wait a minute, y'all, how much weight is you carrying up here on your shoulders? All that plays a part. That's also part of pastoral dysfunction. And when you come in and you see um, people in the healthcare industry who do postural assessments, we see that from the front and from the back. So keep in mind, if you carry anything on your shoulders, how much weight is in the bag that you're carrying? Because that can also cause headaches. And I want you to think about this. You're carrying something on your shoulder but it's also pulling on your neck muscles because you're carrying it. If you carry groceries, something as, as, as essential as groceries and you're carrying them in one, a bag in, or bags in one hand and you got bags in another hand and now you're carrying it like this and you think you're balanced but you're really not balanced because you've got all this weight of bags of groceries in both hands and it's pulling. That caused headaches, y'all. It's, it's just the things we do to take care of, of what we need to do in everyday life that could cause headaches. If you hold your head in one position for long periods of time, whether it's to the left, to just my right, whether it's to the right or to the left. Now, if y'all notice, I didn't turn because mine is limited. I would need to turn my whole body to look that way because I have cervical issues. I have to be very careful of how I turn. Other than that, I get locked up, like really cervically get locked up because of my injury. So holding your head in one position for long periods of time can also cause headaches. Now, the next thing I wanna address, I can't reach it, but I will say this. Um, let's do some improvise. We will improvise for a minute. I'm looking for something that I could improvise with. So this, my, this is, y'all know me in my high flash. So let's, Let's say this is my pillow. This is my pillow, right? And I want to know, and I'm going to put it like this so y'all can see it. I want to know, do y'all sleep with something, a, a, with your pillow in between here and your shoulder? Have you ever woke up and you realized that your neck had limited mobility? 
Do you sleep with a pillow or something in between here and your shoulder? If not, and let's say you don't, and you just have your head on the pillow. I can't go all the way down. I got limited range of motion. And your head is, is laying down on your pillow and you have no support in between here. Well, your head is in one position for long periods of time. If you have limited range of motion, decreased flexibility in your cervicals, that also can affect headaches because you're gonna get stressed out. Stress is a cause of headaches, all right? Now let's talk about what triggers headaches. There's certain foods, there's certain foods that triggers headaches. Like there's certain foods that triggers other things. There's certain foods that trigger headaches. Number one, the thing, the, the, the sweetness that everybody likes. It's like an addiction. Chocolate. Chocolate is a trigger for headaches. Did y'all know that? People trying to call and I'm, I'm, I'm doing radio right now. Don't do that. Caffeine is another one. Caffeine is another trigger. If you drink any type of caffeine and you got that addiction for caffeine, it's a trigger for headaches. People who are addicted, I'm gonna give you an example. I have a friend that's addicted to caffeine and she'll tell you, I haven't had my fix yet. And anytime she say to me, she haven't had her fix yet, I know she's talking about coffee because she has that strong addiction to coffee. And if she doesn't get the fix, she'll get headaches. Once she drink the coffee, that headaches simmer down because she didn't have a fix. What does that tell you? It's an addiction. It's an addiction. You ever read the ingredients in coffee? You ever read the ingredients in anything you drink that got caffeine in it? Do you understand the terminology that's used for what's in it? If you did, you would understand why it causes headaches. Next is cheese. Cheese is a trigger for headaches, among other things. And then you have some medications, not all medications, some medications can be triggers for headaches. Some medications can be triggers for headaches. Now, when you get prescribed your medication, you get this piece of paper. And on that piece of paper, it gives you how you should take the medication, how often you should take it, how many is in there or how many milligrams or how many pills is in there. It also gives you a description of the med. Underneath that, it gives you the side effects of the meds. Do y'all read that? Do y'all take the time out to read what the pharmacy gives you for receiving your medication? Start reading it. It'll make you not want to take it, but you're going to have to take it because it has to do with your health. It is what it is. Let's talk about some signs. Signs of headaches. You have your front talus muscles. If, if, if you get any type of pain, if you get any type of pain in your front talus muscles, I don't know what just happened. So frontalis, here's your frontalis muscles here. Frontalis. Then you have your temporal muscles right here. These are signs, pain, signs and symptoms of pain. Here, frontalis muscles, temporal muscles. And then if you feel, everybody has this noggin, if you feel in the back of your head, that occipital bump go down a little bit, like two finger lengths, two finger lengths below 
the occipital bump, that's your occipital ridge. Right in there, you can have headaches. Those headaches can refer pain to other areas, all right? Now let's talk about descriptions of headaches. So when you go and you go to the doctor and the doctor is asking you, well, can you describe what kind of headache you have? Do you know how to properly give this physician a description of the type of headache you are cover, currently suffering with? Or do you just tell them, I don't know. And then the doctor will ask you this, on a scale of one to 10, one being low, 10 being high, how excruciating is your pain? That's a pain scale that all of us use universally in the healthcare industry. And it gives us an indication of how much pain you really are in and how much work we have to do to reduce it so that you can feel better. And depending on that healthcare occupation, it may mean something different, but all in all, it's about reducing the pain that you are feeling so that you can feel better, all right? So let's say dull, that's a description. That's a description. Achy, intense, throbbing. Intense and throbbing, migraine headache. That's straight migraine. Was she? Hold on, y'all. Let me let her know I'm Facebook Live and I don't know what she's talking about. All right. Maybe she'll come in that way. Um, another one is penetration. Clean mind, y'all. Clean mind. Penetration. Nothing dirty about that. We, we health talking today. Penetration meaning that your headache, it may start off like, oh, it's not that bad. And then as time go on, it gets deeper to a point where it's affecting your eyesight. It's affecting all across just here, abicularis oculi. Pressure around the head, which is going to go from your temp from your frontalis muscles all the way around, completely all the way around. That is a pressure type headache, but it's all the way around your head. Those are the descriptions. So that way you know, you know how to describe the headaches when the physician asks you, hi Jasmine, how you doing? Next, I wanna talk about treatments for headaches. I'm gonna give you some treatments, but I'm gonna also, darn it. Shoot. All right, let me do this. Um, Cause I forgot to do something. Uh, and this is for y'all. Oh, shoot. If that don't work, then it's going to be this one. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to give y'all some information before I go on. All right, now I can go on. So, analgesics, muscle relaxers. Muscle relaxers can make you sleepy. Mild sedatives should not be driving. Should not be driving. And then if you have chronic, uh, chronic tension headaches, you may be described, and I, I wouldn't suggest this, is antidepressants. Antidepressants. So, Let's talk about some goals. Thought I heard something. In my world, 
of massage therapy, our goal for you is to relax your cervicals, neck muscles, to relax the muscles here, plus your facial muscles, relax your shoulder and your back muscles, especially, um, especially if your pain pressure, your pain level is a five and above, all right? Especially if it's a five and above. Now, should you decide to see a massage therapist because you suffer with headaches and either you know you suffer, you know that you suffer with headaches, but, and, or you have been diagnosed with a specific type of headache, such as migraine headaches. Migraine headaches, I'll get into another time. So you wanna see your massage therapist, if, if, I, if I hear stuff y'all, and I'm trying to figure out where that noise is coming from. You wanna see the massage therapist for four weeks for headaches. If you don't wanna do that, then I'm going to suggest this as soon as I find it. I know I have some. Hold on. Right. I'm going through my essential oils here. Nope. No. You want to... Can y'all see that? This is lavender essential oil. Lavender is good for several things. But since we're talking about headaches, it's good for relaxation. So what you want to do is, and I'm going to really do this. I took the top off. And when you when you get the lavender essential oil, you can get a la lavender essential oil from, you can get it online. Um, you can get it from GNC, but be careful when you're purchasing any type of essential oils because essential oils is all about quality. You can buy cheap essential oils, but what's the quality of it? That makes a difference. I don't know what she's talking about. So I took the top off and y'all gonna actually see me do this and don't, whatever you do, cause I see some people do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Wait for the oil to drip out and that would fast. So once you do that, you want to rub it the oil on your fingertips. And I'm going to share my screen again so y'all can see here. And I'm going to stay live. So if you have a tension headache, you have the oil, you put the lavender essential oil and rub your two fingertips together. You want to go across from the frontalis to the temporalis. And you wanna massage the oil in to your frontalis muscles, to your temporalis five times. This smells so wonderful. If you have sinus, same thing, but be careful, it's gonna go here, and around from the bridge of your nose all the way down to here, sinus. That's going to help ease the tension that you feel. If you have a migraine, only here, here, and here, one side. Remember, you're not going to saturate your fingertips with a whole lot of oil. You don't want to do that. 
Hey, t -Lat, how you doing? You don't want to do that. If you have a cluster, be careful around the eye. All right? Be very, very careful. Why y'all can't see my screen? I don't know. I I'm showing my screen. It's, I'm looking at it, but it's not, I don't know. So be careful around the eye. So I'm going to stop my share. And that was lavender essential oil. I put the links in there so you know where you can go and get quality lavender essential oil. So Aaliyah, Aaliyah and Camille. Aaliyah and Camille, this episode is dedicated to you. Aaliyah, this episode is dedicated to you. Go to the website that I pinged on Facebook and get the essential oil. I will also text you the website of where you can get the essential oil from. All right. Do y'all have any questions before I move on to the next part? Last part of this is, let me just make sure I got everything I do. So the last part that I want to give you is this. I want to give you the types of headaches and I want to give you the description of the headaches. Okay, thanks for the thumbs up. Now I can see y'all. I couldn't see y'all before. So tension headache is caused by muscular tension and neurochemicals, which we talked about, which is the serotonin and the dopamine, meaning levels up or levels down, all right? Cluster headaches, they recur in slitic patterns or clusters. They have patterns that they occur in. So I'm giving you the type of headaches and I'm giving you the description. I've also given you the signs and symptoms. I've given you treatments. I've also given you a natural treatment. The natural treatment is see a massage therapist for four weeks for your headaches. In addition, you could do home care with the lavender essential oil. Moving on, external exertional or exercise headache that's triggered by exercise if you are having headaches after you exercise maybe you want to back off a little bit or not be not be exerting yourself too much and alternate body regions when you are exercising or working out exertional compression headache this is people who wear headbands Helmets and goggles. You can have an ice cream headache. That's a cold stimulus. And we all know this. Not so much that, you know, ice cream, but anytime you eat something cold, especially water rice, and when the water rice hits the roof of your mouth, you immediately get a cold headache, a freeze headache, and you like this, waiting for that pain to go away. That's a cold stimulus. That's also called a cold stimulus headache. Sinus headache is due to sinus infections. Migraine headaches is from intracranial vessel dilation. Vessel dilation meaning vessel dilation meaning that I need a piece of paper. I can use this. So I'm going to draw a vessel. Vessel. All right, here's the vessel, vessel, here's the vessel. So when it comes to intracranial vessel, dil can y'all see this? Vessel dilation. So here is a vessel. And when it says dilation, that means opening. This part is opening. When it gets smaller, it's constricting. All right, so that would be migraine. Hormone headache is from different levels of hormone fluctuations. So if you are on any type of hormone for any reason, you need to consult with your primary care physician if you're having headaches because it, the cause of the headache can be narrowed down to whatever hormone you are taking. So you can get headaches from hormone fluctuations. Next is rebound headaches. That's from medication use. I talked about that earlier. 
that certain med medications can cause headaches. It is called rebound headaches and that's from medication use. Chronic headaches, they occur every day. These are people that suffer with everyday headaches. Post-traumatic headaches associated with an injury to the head or to the neck, such as in the case of whiplash, cervical acceleration, deceleration, car accident. So when a person is in a car accident, it's called CAD, cervical, neck, acceleration, forward, deceleration, back. So it's a snap, okay? Next is reactive or allergy headaches. That is triggered by an allergen. These are people that suffer with allergies. And thunderclap headache. These are headaches that pain peaks within 60 seconds or fades over several hours. So I've given you the different types of headaches with their description. I've given you what a headache is by definition. We talked about signs and symptoms. We talked about triggers. However, with some of the triggers, if you are a chocolate eater, come back on the chocolate. If you love chocolate, come back on the chocolate. We talked about the different factors that causes headaches. And we also started off with the onset of headaches that happens or starts during the second decade of life. So that is my time. I have enjoyed giving you this information. You have been listening to the Let's Talk with Carolyn radio show on Sedora Radio. You can tune in with us on Sedora Radio by downloading your app on your Android or iPhone, Android or Android or iPhone, or you can watch all of us on YouTube on the Sedora Radio uh, YouTube channel. So, and what else can you tune in with us at? YouTube, radio, right here with me on Facebook every Tuesday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And if you have any questions about any of the information I gave you today, don't hesitate to either text me at 267-864-8639 or just call me and ask me some information. But keep this in mind, if you call me and you start asking me questions about the topics that we covered today, I'm cool with that, but it is not medical advice. Let's get that straight. It is not medical advice. It is informational and educational purposes only. However, it's all factual. I'm not going to take that credit away. It is all factual. I am not in a position to give prescriptions or diagnose. I am in a posi position of my license to help you reduce any chronic pain that you have in the musculoskeletal system. So that's my time, everybody. My name is Carolyn. I am your host of the Let's Talk with Carolyn radio show. Check this out on YouTube. You'll see a host of other shows up there other than myself. Take care and Camille, you can give me a call. So let me do what I do best. I'd like to thank the CEO of the Sedora radio station for tuning in with me. I'd like to thank TLEP for tuning in with me and anybody else who's here that Facebook is not letting me see. Thank you for tuning in and tuning in with me every, every, every Tuesday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. I've also put in here where you can get your essential oils from. You can go to my Instagram at www.instagram.com forward slash Philly Time I'll Spy. Go to my bio, click on the bio. When you get to my link tree, scroll down to where it says Wellness Advocate. There you can search for lavender essential oil. The other place you can go to is just go to the link that I put in here in the chat directly to my link tree. Once again, scroll down till you see Wellness Advocate. Hit shop when you get there and shop for your lavender essential oil and stop being in pain because you don't have to be. You don't have to be in pain if you are a person that suffers with headaches. Take care, everybody. And I will see y'all on my next live stream. Stay blessed up.
and it is March the 1st. February is done. Let's get it done in March. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.